It's Tom and Logie's daily podcast. Tom and Logie. Catch them live weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on K Rock 955. This is a this is a charity story slash a um, a Woolies story. Okay, so just don't choke or make laughs. No. Okay, good. Laugh, joke. Okay, good. They, I think they would want you to be happy. Nice. You know, sometimes you're not sure. Yeah. Like absolutely. I get the warning. We give each other the warnings. Mm. We could do it off air, but a lot of the time we're like, "Hey, hey just FYI." <laughs> just, <laughs> but that's that's okay because we don't want the people at home to feel bad either. No. So. Um, all good people is what I will say. Yeah, yeah. All good people. Okay, all Everybody's good people. trying their best. Yes. Um, one of the hardest jobs in the world has to be knocking on your door and saying, hey, what are you up to? Want to give me some money for a charity? Oh, if anyone knocks on my door, I assume that they're there to kill me. <laughs> Honestly, I, I am terrified uh, every time I hear uh, a knock. Uh, um, and also to just stand in the middle of a shopping centre. How dreadful. Oh. And, you know, good on you for trying, but, you know, absolutely very But tough. also... Can you understand, like I get what you're doing, mm. but can you understand that it might be like a lunch break or something? 100%. And I'm, I'm in a rush. And so when I'm like, oh, thank you, when I'm just nothing but nice, mm. like thank you so much. But unfortunately I've, I'm, you know, in a bit of a hurry. Oh, well, no, it'll only take two seconds. It's like, but it won't. No. So can I just, yeah. can you I'm not up in your face. Yeah. Like I'm, so I respect what you do. Famously, my hack is yeah. when you see them, oh, yeah. get your phone out because they're yeah. not allowed to. They're not allowed to talk to you while you've got your phone, uh, while you're on your phone. And they can't but then prove, they give you the look. Like, no, they can't prove I you're know. on the phone. Who cares, mate? Yeah. Who cares what they reckon? Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> – and the other one, but I got stitched up on the corner of Murrable and Mallop here to, oh, like, um, yeah. as I was walking home the other day. Yeah. This woman lo- came up to me like she was looking for directions. Yeah. Very weird place for someone like that to be standing. Yeah. And then she got me and I was like, oh, God, she's got me. Yeah. So my backup. <laughs> look away, look away. So my backup, if I can't pull the phone thing, <laughs> is to say uh, at the start of every financial year, we map out our charitable donations for the year. And then they're like, oh, okay. And then they let me go. <laughs> See, that's at the top, baby. That's at the top. I've got to get out, man. I've got to get away. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Woolies are doing it to you as well We're on the self serve registers, yes. right? And they not they they, they they do use a little bit of guilt and a little bit of, oh, I'm in a rush, and a little yeah. bit of, like, catch me on the hop. Yeah. Uh, yes, I will take that chocolate bar. And also, yes, I will round up to yeah. give to, do- like, to whatever charity that you are, you know, supporting at the moment, which is fine. Yeah. Do whatever you got to do. It probably gets the charities a whole heap of money. Yeah. Me? But not so much. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I stand there saying to the self self register, the lady, you know, it's like, um, where she's like, uh, please call assistance or whatever when, when you I say to her. <laughs> I, what I do is at the start of every financial year, yeah. my wife and I, we, I'm sure she cares. Yeah. Anyway, so at the moment there's a, there's a glitch that's going around and they're working on fixing it. But if you go through the self-surf registers at uh, Woolies yeah. um, and, and you get to the bit where you're like, all right, you're going to pay, and they say, would you like to round, round the transaction up, yeah. up to an even amount so maybe 50 cents might be 70 cents whatever yeah. and donate to variety which is great charity they do wonderful work yes right? but they're giving you these are the options they're giving you at the moment because you, you get yes or no <laughs> or sorry we map out our finance, yeah. <laughs> financial sorry, contribution sorry i'm on my mobile phone right now <laughs> yeah. you, you're not allowed to ask me this question yeah uh, so so the two options that you can get occasionally at the moment with this glitch is yes please or yes <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. Yeah, yeah, Hang yeah, on. Yeah. So, <laughs> so people are like, ah, oh, charging $9 for a broccoli and then not giving you the option to, to whether you want to round up or not. Uh, so it's a system glitch um, and, yeah, they're, they're, uh, they've said that their IT department is working on it. Oh, yeah. Um, but not before we uh, get a few rounded up so, <laughs> dollars. So, so pressing the yes at the bottom actually counts as a no. Okay. Even though it seems like I'm being rude. And it, but yeah, apparently, yeah, so they make you feel bad. Like it's like, yes, please, or yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have that no. Yeah. Uh, it only happens on one in 16 machines at the moment. And uh, Woolly spokespeople have also said that donations are intended to be optional, mm. but we don't give you the options. Yeah, so. but if you're not going to, well, you're a big PO. You're a big, yes. Yeah, that's the next thing. Like you press no, and then the next screen comes up. You're like, yeah. why not, you turn? Yeah. <laughs> Tom and Loggy's podcast, K Rock 955.
I know that you'll be very excited by this on Twitter. We got notification from The Witcher that season three is officially in production. Yeah. Love it. Well, they've got a photo here of them sitting on little camp chairs out in the snow. So I'm assuming that's them behind the scenes filming. No, I'm that's like, part of the... Yeah, oh, it is? They're period camp chairs <laughs> there. They're from, uh, from the Age of Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Tom and Long. Tom and Loggy's podcast. K-Rock 955. So it's a blind taste test blind tasting. of three different rices. Yes. Three blind rice, three blind <laughs> rice. See if they yum, see <laughs> if they yum. Loggy says that they all taste the same, but on each pack is a different name. And so that's why we play this game. It's three blind rice. Yeah. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> Miss the show. Here are the best bits of Tom and Loggy. Tom and Loggy. On K-Rock. You've had a time of had it. Had a time. Had a time of it. So we're going to Fiji at the end of May. How exciting for you guys. I know. What a bloody privilege. It was yeah. my 40th birthday present from my wife. Wonderful. And she's so exciting. Done power of work to get it organised because we're going with some family and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's a logistical nightmare. Oh, yeah. One thing that she hadn't done yet, and we've been married for four and a bit years now, it was change her passport because we, like, not, apart from the honeymoon, we've not needed them. Yeah. Because COVID and all that kind mm. of thing. So she needs to change her surname on her passport to the family name now mm. from her maiden name. And also, in that time, we've welcomed two little girls into the world. Yes. And so they need passports as well to be able oh, to travel. Oh, yeah. It's just logic, guys. How long do those passports last for? Ten years. The kids' ones too. I don't know, mate. Didn't ask. Oh, sorry. Uh, follow so follow-up <laughs> questions. I was going to say, I don't think so. <laughs> we've had a bit of a time of it, right? We've had a bit of a time of it. And so uh, we've been going to the post office and they've been sending us back. We've had we printed our own forms and they didn't print correctly. That's all right. You missed out on some border. Yeah. It did, yeah. And at the bottom there was a bit cut off. So make sure you do um, print to size or mm. fit to fit page click that if you're printing your own passport forms uh, we've had uh, the wrong passport uh, the wrong um sorry handwriting because i filled yes. out your bit and you just signed it signed and, it you tried uh, to make life easy for me yeah and, and they, they like, said no no not <laughs> yeah. acceptable uh, and we've also had the photos we cut them and they didn't have a little white border around them Okay, right? yeah. So you cut that too close. No, we'll send you home. Go, go again. So we have Have you been... raged at all in this? Like... Absolutely. But okay. I mean, mainly Carlia because she's the one that's had to go do a lot of the back and forth. Do you know what would be really good? What? If they gave you like a how-to or miscellaneous well, they do, questions there or something. There is so much random stuff. <laughs> yeah. In there, that every time we get sent home, it's like, no, no, what you've done there is, you know, you've written it in English. We need it in also French and German. <laughs> right. Like, I don't know what you want from yeah. me. And hey, I, I have a yes, Australia Post and I have a checkered pass. Yes, and I wouldn't personally suggest that the first mistake made by the Australian government was entrusting the whole process. <laughs> To Australia Post. I wouldn't suggest that okay. that was a bad decision. Have you You better just keep your comments until you get the passport, mate. But I tell you what, the person who organised that contract, they would be um, enjoying some sort of wrist adornment <laughs> that is worth a few thousand God, dollars. God, yes. Some sort of reward for mm. organising that contract, I bet. Yeah. Anyway, okay. so got to the point yesterday, back for the fourth time. After the show, I go up the road here just... Um, on the outside of Market Square mm-hmm. and go into the post office there. Yes. The girl's like, oh, no. So what I did, I got you to sign the back of the photos. Yes. And then I put them back in the thing. We made a collective agreement, you and I. I said, I might, you said, just do both photos. Mm. As in, you had two copies of each girl yep. and of Kalia. You're like, I'll oh, just sign the back of both because then at least we've got one spare. I don't have to bug you again. Yeah. Here's what we did wrong. Uh we shouldn't have signed both. You're only supposed to have one photo signed and one photo not signed. If you sign both photos, Why? go home, try again. Why? I don't know. I don't know what difference it makes. Anyway. What? Why does one need to be blurred? It's going to be stuck down. You're not going to see what's anyway. Yeah, exactly. So what? Anyway. Okay, all right. Don't yeah. ask me, no, mate. No, okay. Don't ask me. Yep, yep, yep. I see uh, you right. Also, you when right. we, when we you, you wrote on them and then I just put them straight back in the little cardboard thing and ink went on the front of the photos. No. So they're like, you can't use these photos. There's ink on them. <laughs> 
Oh, you're kidding me. And anyway, you've written on the back of both of them and like some sort of idiot. Oh, sorry. I'm the idiot. And also, Carly is form, so I can't lodge it on her behalf. That's fine. But she can't sign it at home. No. No, where does it say? But no, she has to sign it in front of the people at the post office. Where does it say that on the form? It doesn't say it on the form at all. <laughs> so anyway, we fi- I went home and, and we, we sorted it out. They gave me a fresh one. Carly filled out her fifth Name change passport form. Okay. And we went to the village. We went to Karaya Village yesterday. Yes. We went and we went in there and we had, I fixed the photos, got the ink off with an eraser. Hack. Got oh. it sorted out, right? Yeah. Um, and, and then we found some extra ones that didn't have writing on the back. So we got there, Carly went and she, she, she stood there at the post office while I took the girls and entertained them around Kar- Karaya Village. Anyway... She calls me and she's like, so here's the situation. I was like, oh, Jesus. What oh, now? my God. You ready for this, right? No. So it's all good. We're putting them through. Thank God, right? Okay. But they're saying at the moment that passports will take up to eight weeks. Keep in mind that we started this process at least two weeks ago, probably three weeks ago. <laughs> so it's taking up to eight weeks and we leave seven weeks from yesterday. So we can pay for the express versions of the passport. Of course you can. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to know how much it costs for two children's express passports and her to change her name passport express, right, which is free if it's not an express one? Okay. $985! No, 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 no. A thousand bucks, mate. You're kidding me. A thousand bucks. That is is a rot. That's a rot. What can we do? What can we do? We can't risk getting them a week after we are supposed to leave, so we paid a thousand dollars because we had been sent back from the po- from the post office for to- for a fifth time. This is a horrible story. This is a horrible story. You need to go fund me. <laughs> we can't afford the holiday now. We can't. We got no spending money for the holiday. And you can't run the gauntlet. No, you can't run no, the because, gauntlet. Yeah, because we. Yeah. Anyway. How? Sorry. Okay. What is the express? How did? Okay. I oh, will have it in five to seven days. That's, that's sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Could you wait until that's it's you, no, you couldn't can't. you can't There's nothing oh. you can do. Oh man. A thousand that's bucks. A- that's a horrible story. Yeah, I know. That's a nightmare. Yeah. That's a Netflix special. That's a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> K Rock.